Welcome to my booktube. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Pardon my whole self today. I stayed up super late last night editing the video that I posted today because apparently I have to live very last minute all the time and just went for a run and I got back. But I stopped by the mailbox on the way home and my Magical Reads crate came in so I thought I would do an unboxing with you because why not? <laughs> This is my third crate. Um, a friend of mine got me a three month subscription as a wedding gift even though our wedding had to be cancelled but so I still get three wonderful months of books and I ended up subscribing to this myself as well just to keep them going because I've really been enjoying it so far so I'm excited to see what has come in this box. I think there's a candle because I can smell something pretty strong through the box so I'm pretty excited about that. I think the candles are one of my favorite things usually. Um, I'm really hoping that it's not broken because I can smell it through the box, so we'll see. I already cut it open because I didn't want you to have to watch me do that. Okay, so this is a glimpse of what's inside. I got the card. Empire of Dreams is the theme for the April crate, so I'm just getting it now because COVID is, of course, delaying everything. And then on the back, in case you want some spoilers, I'm not going to read it, but this is everything that comes in this one. So we'll see what's in here. Okay, this first item I think might be a bag and it's black. I really like that. Ooh, sorry, it's love. Ooh, it is a tote bag. This is so soft. I'm gonna have to keep this out of range of my cats because it's fabric and black and so cat hair is gonna show all over it. But this is, this is beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. It does say the same thing on both sides. Oh, and it's from Crooked Kingdoms. I haven't read these books yet, but they are on my list of ones that I want to buy, so I'm sure when I haul them, I'll let you know. <laughs> That's cute. I really like this. This feels really soft, too, and it's also, like, thick and sturdy. Ooh, and the inside's white. Ah, oh, I really like this bag. This is going great so far. I do my best to sort of display things behind me, so we'll see how that goes. Ooh. The next thing is hot chocolate mix, which is great. I personally love hot chocolate, so I'm down with that. Double chocolate. Cool. The next thing is a face mask. I'm so down. I was just thinking of ordering some more face masks, so that was perfect. Oh, and I think this is what I smell, so it's not a candle. It is a bath bomb. It smells so Oh, good. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a shower steamer. It looks like this one is from Children of Blood and Bone. It says Warrior Relaxation. I'll show you. Well, it's not going to focus, but this is what it is. It says, I teach you to be warriors in the garden so you'll never be gardeners in the war. Cool. I haven't read this book either, but definitely one that I want to pick up one day too. Oh, this is nice. It's like a self-care box too. I like that. That's so cute. The next item is a pin and it comes in this cute little bag. I really like all of the pins that I've got from the Magical Read Crate so far. They're all, most of them are on my bag. This one is from Three Dark Crowns, which I also haven't read yet. Seems to be a trend right now. Um, but it says, I'll show you first. Wow, recording on a phone is great. Well, clearly I don't know how to make my phone zoom in, so I apologize. It says, it would be sweet to be cared for despite her faults and to be wanted for her person rather than the power she comes with. I really like the design around the outside too. It's really pretty. I'm sorry that you can't read it. And it's a, a bit heavy too, so it's got two pins on the back. Cool. And next there is a sticker with the signature of the author if you want to put it in the book. And then there's also a sticker, which I'll show you. And this is from The Girl of Fire and Thorns, which I also haven't read yet. I clearly have a lot of reading to catch up on. Um, it says, I've loved and lost and survived. So. That's cute. And now for the book already. So the book is Empire of Dreams by Ray Carson. I haven't heard of this. 
It says, harsh winds, rough seas, still hearts. Hmm. After having read All the Stars and Teeth, and I really loved that, and I wanted to have another on the sea type adventure, this sounds like maybe it might give me that. Okay, so after reading the cover, it sounds like it's not going to be a sea adventure, but I'll read it to you in case you're interested. It says, Red Sparkle Stone spent her entire childhood running from sinister sorcerers or the cold or hungry or vicious masters, but that's over now. Finally, at 16 years old, she is safe. She has a home despite everything. Her veiled past, her odd name, the mark of magic in her hair. Red is being adopted by the royal family. Until the Empress's great rival blocks the adoption with a stunning political masterstroke and everything Red has worked for crumbles away. Red is not about to let her Empress become a target again. Determined to prove her worth and protect her chosen family, she joins the Royal Guard and the world's most elite fighting force. As the plot against the Empress deepens, Red must uncover the enemy who has put her, her country, and everyone she loves at risk, if she can survive the recruitment year, something no woman has done before. That reminds me a little bit of the book series when I read as a kid, The Lioness Rampant. Um, if you ever read that growing up, it was really good. Um, yeah, this sounds interesting. I will probably put this on my TBR for June, because I still haven't read the one from last month, which was... The Kingdom of Back, which is on my TBR for May. I still need to get to that. <laughs> so I'll probably put this on for June, because I like to be keeping up with the subscription boxes. This is fun. I'd have to say that my favorite item in this box was definitely the bag. This is really nice. I like the pin second, so yeah, those are probably my favorite parts of this. Well, thanks for joining me in my unboxing. I hope it was interesting. It was probably really quick. So thanks for sticking around. Um, I might add something on to the end of this video, just to make it a little bit longer because this is probably going to be like five minutes. <laughs>
facial expressions <laughs> feels really weird too. Even when I smile, you can't tell I'm smiling. Yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to my unboxing slash kind of vlog. Whatever this is. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.